Hi, I'm Faye, and it's a stormy day here today. The wind is howling and the rain is falling, and I unexpectedly did not have to work. So I'm cozy in my sweater, and I was just getting out a book to spend a little quiet time this afternoon, and I decided why not take this time to share with you? So the book that I'm looking at right now is called Encyclopedia of Dog Breeds. This is a very old book of mine. As you can see, the cover is missing. It's been looked at so many times. And this is the book that I used when I was researching getting my first dog many years ago. I still have her. She is now about 13 years old. And I'll show you a picture of the kind of dog that she is. She is a cavalier. King Charles Spaniel, and this is what she looks like. My dog is this coloring over here. She's the ruby colored, and she's been a wonderful dog. So I had looked through this book very thoroughly and extensively to see which dog would suit me best. And I'm now thinking about getting a new puppy. I have a friend that just got a puppy and I've been thinking about getting one too to keep my old dog company in her last years and to have someone with a little bit of fresh energy in the house too. But I wanted to do some research and I thought you may enjoy at some of the pictures with me. So I'm going to move the camera so that you can look at the pictures more clearly. And if you're interested in dogs or getting a dog, this might be a fun book for you to look at. Started and look at some of the dogs in here. So, this book starts with the sporting group and it has different sections or the different kinds of dogs. Here's the terrier group. And the working group. And there's a section back here for the toy group. see how much I've looked at this book. It's getting rips and tears in it because it's been thumbed through so many times. So the sporting dogs are hunting dogs. They're your retrievers and This is the at-a-glance chart, and it tells you what the energy level of the dog is, its exercise requirements, its playfulness, its affection level, its friendliness towards dogs, friendliness toward other pets, friendliness towards strangers. Stop. 
at the energy level and the exercise requirements first because I know that for my life I don't want a dog that's super hyper I know in some German short hair pointers they were wonderful dogs but they had a bit more energy than I'm looking for right now I'm not totally settled on getting a purebred, but I do think they're fascinating. So interested in how many different kinds there are, how different they look. They all look like dogs, but they all have something slightly different. The Chesapeake Bay Retriever. This one doesn't score a five on anything. That's interesting. And here's the flat coated retriever, which you can see looks a lot like a golden retriever. Actually, golden retrievers were considered yellow flat-coated retrievers when they were first bred. And of course everybody knows and loves golden retrievers. Such friendly dogs. Strangers and of course ease of training. And labs. Labs are very nice dogs, but I actually think they're kind of stinky. <laughs> so that one's never made my list. took my dad through this book and he and I looked through every page. <laughs> He's not a dog lover. And I was trying to help him find one that would be a good dog for them. exercise and has too much energy, but I do love this color. It's the same color as my dog. I'll show you. are cavaliers and you can see that the binding is broken and the pages are stained because I spent a lot of time 
looking at this page. still loves to run on the beach and play, but she's getting a lot of arthritis, and she doesn't have the energy she used to. Look at this one. This is a Brussels griffin. And this one looks like it's up to no good. That looks like a mischief maker. between seven and nine pounds. The Cavalier can weigh almost 20. So this is a tiny little dog. A tiny little dog that wants to keep you safe. Tell you if anybody's nearby. And here's a Westie. These are really cute. They also score high on watchdog ability. I wonder if that means they're yappy. I don't like yappy dogs. I'm gonna skip back a little bit. And look at some of the working group. So here's the Ikea, the one dog that my dad said he liked. <laughs> they do look very solid and well, well proportioned. It has a cool tolerance of five, but a heat tolerance of only one, so doesn't want to be too hot. And its ease of training is a three. Malamutes, beautiful silver fur, black and white and silver. It doesn't like to be in the heat. And Anatolian Shepherds. I think these look just like dogs. Like exactly what you think of when you imagine a, a farm dog running out. And here's the Bernese Mountain Dog. Probably one of my very favorite dogs. Every time I see a Bernese, it's quiet, it's well behaved, it's calm. 
Unfortunately, I think they have quite a few health problems, and they only live seven to nine years. The affection level is a three, which surprises me a little bit because they are always so friendly. And here's a boxer. My preference is not for pointy ears, but I know some people like those. Very affectionate dogs. says this one might try to be the leader. Maybe the leader of its family, I'm not sure. Great Danes. I know some people who used to show Great Danes. And I don't know much about showing dogs. participate in that. The Great Pyrenees. What a beautiful dog. So soft looking. Could just curl up right next to that dog. You'd feel protected and safe. Snuggly. Warm. And the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, which looks a lot like a Bernese, but instead of a 7 to 9 year lifespan, it has a 10 to 12 year lifespan. Now, I've always been interested to know who would own this dog? It's so funny. It's just a giant mop. I can't even see its eyes. It's the silliest looking dog. And I just can't imagine trying to keep up with this one. Or maintain it. That must be a full-time job, just maintaining that fur. I bet you'd be the talk of the town, though, if you had this dog and took it for a walk. I'd be interested to see one in real life. I'm going to show you the dog that I really like. Sheepdog. It has an energy level of three, an exercise requirement of three, a playfulness of three, and an affection level of five. And I know that you're probably thinking that looks like a lot of fur, but I absolutely 
absolutely fell in love with an old English sheepdog. Of someone that I know. And they keep theirs clipped. So it doesn't grow out all bushy like this. And it seems much more manageable. The weight is between 60 and 90 pounds, and this particular dog was so goofy and silly, so much fun, so bouncy, and ever since I met that dog, I've wanted to have one. So we're still thinking about the right time to adopt another animal and maybe we'll get a rescue dog, I don't know. Here's a German Shepherd. And a Collie. just kind of looks like a dog. Look at how that one blends into the sheep there. When I look at the old English sheepdog, I get that little spark. Collies. This is the kind of dog that I grew up with. Its name was Muppet. And just for fun, I'm just going to choose one random dog. This is the Fox Terrier. So maybe I've chosen the dog that would be the perfect pet for you. This has an energy level of a four, has a level three exercise requirement, it has a four playfulness, a four affection level, its friendliness toward other dogs is a three. Its watchdog ability is a 5. Its protection ability is a 1. Its grooming requirement is a 1. Its cold tolerance is a 3. And its heat tolerance is a 3. It's between 15 and 19 pounds. And that's not the right dog for me, but maybe it's the right dog for you. The right dog for me. We already saw. Is this silly, friendly beauty right here? And maybe someday I'll have a little ASMR puppy. And she can appear in some videos, keep you company. I'm not sure if this book is still available, but I'll check and see. And 
if it is. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Like I said, this is a book I got a long time ago. But I love it because it's a book that people like to pick up and thumb through when they're visiting. And if children are at my house, I can always give them this book. And they always like to look at the pictures of the dogs. interested in getting a dog. I think it's nice to have some reference books like these around that have beautiful pictures and can just be something to browse. I wish you a good night and I thank you for joining me. This was a very simple video. But I hope you enjoyed it. Sometimes the simple videos are the ones that I find the most relaxing. Although I love to see the creativity of the, some of the big productions as well. And hopefully that's something that will be coming in the near future. But for now, some simple sounds of pages turning. <laughs>